Hello everybody. We are deep into an ultimate hot dog battle. About 15 minutes ago, we were basically given a load of sausages and the challenge to create the most creative and delicious hot dogs, key phrase, that we could for Ben to judge at the end of the video. And how are we saying it's going, lads? I've wrapped some things in some things. <laughs> Friendships are about to be ended. I know what we're working okay. with. Oh! <laughs> Dropped a uh, sauce. Gosh, you are so <laughs> weird. That is a lot of sausage. That is a lot of wow. sausage. I had a really strong idea, and now the ingredients are in front of me, I feel less confident. Okay, I'm gonna start the stopwatch, lads. Okay, three, two, one, go. Oh, already off to a great start. I've got an idea. There's probably two ways to do this idea. I'm gonna try one and see how we get on. You're not gonna like it. Sorry, Izzy. <laughs> oh, these are the, the kebab skewers. Yeah. I don't wanna watch that for longer than I have to because it's yeah. horrible. It's gonna get worse. Before I explain to you my idea, I have a little bit of taste testing to make sure my idea could work. Early signs, this might be a challenge. Has anyone actually got a substantial idea? Yeah, I've got a concept and I have no idea whether it's even remotely going to work. Can I give you a title of mine? Go on. California hot dog rolls. That sounds very close to what I am No, think. don't no do way. this. That sounds... Don't do this. What do you mean? You've got no sushi rice. I've got no rice, but I do You've have... You've got nori. I've got nori. What flavours are you going? Are you going oh, more... California roll would be crab, avocado. But you're fine, you're fine. I'm not touching that minging stuff. And I'm also adding salmon to my hot dog. <laughs> like a glove. to find two perfect black sesame seeds. I'm going for a cheese stuffed, bacon wrapped double dog. Under the guise of a Korean army stew flavored hot dog. First up, I'm stuffing my dog with cheese. I think I'm gonna have to get an extra dog and maybe half of that on top. Then I'm gonna wrap it in bacon. I'm not sure how best to cook it, so I'm gonna make two, and I'm gonna deep fry one, and I'm gonna stick the other one in the oven. Let's see what works. I've seen it, and what you're you not doing? doing it. What are you doing? These are all over social media. Some incredible creative person has turned their little hot dogs into Disney princesses. <gasps> <gasps> and I thought, can I do an Ebers version? Amazing. Wrap it in sushi rice with the Nori chef's jacket, flavor it with Japanese flavors, and potentially blow his mind. Keyword, potentially. I got my little Ebers made. He's got arms, legs, a mouth, and two sesame seed eyes. They're going into boiling water to boil away. Meanwhile, I've got some sushi rice on the go. Boys, on a scale of one to 10, how much do you think Ebers is gonna enjoy your creation? <laughs> the idea I have for my creation, I think is a 10 out of 10 Ebers enjoyment. The execution and what I finally deliver to him, I feel is, we could be in minus figures. <laughs> <laughs> Barry, I don't even know what you're planning. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> look, at him, look at Ebers' little arms. <laughs> <laughs> Sausages are really slippy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all just spinning. Baz, what are you doing? It's so slippy. <laughs> so I've raided the sorted the store cupboard awesome. and exactly. tried to find some ingredients that I can knock up a Japanese style oh, mustard <laughs> and a Japanese style barbecue sauce. But I'm having to use like HP sauce and I've got things like mirin and rice wine vinegar and miso. So who knows if we're gonna get there. Guys, guys, I'm just saying, we've, we've, we've pushed Evers <laughs> to the edge. I think today we might be doing, we might have gone he's, too far. He's doing that and I've done that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I've, I've done, done that. that. <laughs> we can't even blame this one on being jet lagged. 
If you're enjoying this, there are some small things you can do that make a big difference to us. Like the video, subscribe if you aren't, click the notification bell and select all. Thanks. Some HP brown sauce, some Chinese fire spice. Ideally, I'd like to use Japanese seven spice, but we don't have that. Splash of mirin, and then I'm just gonna add some miso and just play around with the balance of the flavors. <laughs> it's too long. <laughs> it's too long to go in the pan. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna have to bend it. Bend it. Bend, bend it. sausage. Yeah, bend it like Ebers. I need to melt the cheese. I need to crisp up the bacon. <laughs> They are amazing! Look at little Evers go! <laughs> this is awesome! That can go in the oven, keep warm, uh, whilst I get on with the rest of the dog. I'm actually now at the point where I've got to construct this, but it's quite a feat. So my sausages are wrapped in smoked salmon. My rolls are going to cut into, smother with crab cream cheese, avocado, then in with my smoked salmon sausage and wrap it. Oh no! I've got to wrap my sausage in nori first. Is it worth pointing out that Kush has been too busy to help us with some of the rest of the development recently? Which is why you're seeing this unfold. My mustard consists of yellow hot dog mustard, because that's all we've got. Some miso, some rice wine vinegar, and I'm gonna probably let it down with a little bit of water, and then again, just play around with the balance of the flavors until it tastes good. Hot dogs are as much about the toppings as they are about the dogs themselves. I'm going all out. I've got kimchi, I've got gochujang ketchup, I've got a mayo which I'm gonna season with the seasoning packet from some ramen, and then we're gonna crisp some ramen over the top. So I've got some delicious sweet potato buns that I have cut in half, flattened, <laughs> and I'm smothering it with my cream cheese crab topping, then avocado, then my sausage, and I'm gonna roll. What is this? <coughs> oh, cool. I'm glad I didn't put too, <laughs> too much of that in to start with. I'm crushing up my ramen. That's going to replace the crispy onions on top of my hot dog. Getting invented. Rice is going into the freezer. Just it into the freezer. Yeah, it needs to cool down, doesn't it? And we've got about 20 minutes left. I want to make this look good. It's where I always fall down. <laughs> I was feeling all right, and then I've just looked over there, and I feel a lot better. Oh my gosh! Oh, he, I, I, I have he's no not going to eat that. <laughs> <laughs> he might. He might be surprised. Construction time. Kimchi. Dog, gochujang ketchup, spiced mayonnaise, crispy ramen. This bit of bacon shrunk back. That happens sometimes. It does here. Yeah. You should have wrapped up the <laughs> Oh my God. So I stirred through some rice wine vinegar, sugar, and some salt through my sushi rice to season it. Went straight into the freezer to cool down. Now it's cooled. I'm smearing it on two perfectly cut sheets of nori, which are gonna be Ebba's little chef's jacket. It's looking good, obviously, but I feel like it might just need a little bit of freshness. So we're going for some red onion. Putting a little batter around my crevettes into hot oil, and I'm gonna basically break them up over my hot dog. Oh, something smells really funky. What is that? Fish. My barbecue sauce is tasting really good, in my own opinion. And we just need enough for inside the roll and for Ebba's hair. We've got some prawn crackers. 
just cook, do you think, or not? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I put too many in. <laughs> oh no! I, I, I thought these were work? really small. Oh. <laughs> I, I didn't know they were going to get big. Have you never had a prawn cracker before? I've never, I've never cooked them myself. Yeah, but you know what size they end up. I just put half a packet in. <laughs> Kush, can I have a plate, please? Your choice. Any choice. Any choice. Again. Again. I've got time to get another one. Left or right? Oh, I like this game. <laughs> uh, left. <laughs> <laughs> what was right, just out of interest? Excellent, perfect, thank you. As I said, I've got time to go get myself one. We're going for pickled ginger wasabi. So my rip off not tonkotsu. Now's the horrible bit. Boys, it, it's roll time. I'm gonna really need to, I need some advice. This is Ben's chef's jacket. You've got to have arms out, haven't you? You have to have arms out. Have to have arms I've out. done slightly up, longer arms on there, and then slightly, it's gonna have a big chef's jacket. Or I go arms in, and then I can fashion some little arms out of. You've gone this far with the arms, so I think keep them out. Do you reckon you take the arms up higher? Yeah. I know you've got a lot on, but if you get a second to look over at Barry's. <laughs> It literally does not matter how this goes. <laughs> how many times round are you going? I don't know. I think it's a double wrap, isn't it? You're going to be very tubby of us. <laughs> well, we might, we might not need all of it. Okay, just bath. Yeah. You want to hold the arms up? Yeah. you got to hold the arms up. <laughs> right, are we ready? Yeah. Let go of the arms. He, he's free. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks we're making hot dogs. Oh no, I put Ebba's in a bath towel. <laughs> this is okay. This is okay. I'm hunting for a bit of sweetness from this. And you're thinking blueberries? I'm thinking blueberries. I've cooked the prawns, but they're a bit too salty. So I'm going to leave them off this plate and just snack with them instead. Now, Take my prawn crackers and add a bit of texture around the plate. Remember the, um, remember the angel hair stuff we did? Yeah. The potential ingredient didn't have a kick. I think this needs a kick. It's like a dollop of wasabi you have of it. You need it to bring it to life. You might not spit that out. <laughs> this is hey, back to poker face. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I know. It's good, isn't it? Is it? It's good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's great. Nice. Some more of my barbecue sauce, fried garlic. Oh, now we've got to put him in his lettucey coffin. coffin. <laughs> Go on, mate. Yep. Yeah. And he goes. What are you doing now? Giving him hair. <laughs> Actually, he looks oh, like he's. looks really a, good. It does look so good. Ebbers. Uh, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I think you stop there, mate. That's, oh, that is wonderful. What a hot dog battle. What a video. <laughs> <laughs> so much better. Sorted. These are the best videos where I just get to taste, cast opinion at the end, and I haven't even had to stand on the side throughout. Have you had a good day so far? Yeah, I haven't had a hot dog yet. All oh, right, so you're, you're willing. I've got three now, apparently. As long as you're not hangry, we might be okay. <laughs> Why don't you lift cloche A? Have a great time. That looks like a hot dog to me. <laughs> some sort of sausage in some sort of bun with condiments. Evers, that is a cheese stuffed, bacon wrapped, one and a half times dog in a Korean army stew flavoured hot dog. A throwback to our video with Jolly, and it's got the noodles and the onion, and I'm guessing, therefore, some Korean flavours. Yep, there's a gochujang ketchup, there's, um, what, what are you doing? What, what are you doing, Emma? Because you told me cheese stuff, yeah, and cheese it's not. Stuff. It is. The cheese is all falling out the bottom. There's some cheese on the other end. 
But it's not in. No, so it's underneath now because that's where the split is to be able to get it into the sausage. I think the architecture of your hot dog needs work. And then on top, you've got a gochujang ketchup, a mayonnaise that has been spiced with some of the seasoning from a ramen packet, some crispy ramen on top, uh, and uh, some red onion. The criteria here, is it a hot dog? Yes. Is it creative? Yes. Is it delicious? Yes. I lifted the cloche, it's a hot dog. It's a sausage in a roll. Well done. Tick. Is it creative? I like the inspiration you've taken, and you've smushed it together in your usual clumsy Literally, fashion. one and a half smushes. I like the texture of the raw noodle on top, which we know is also cooked. Is it tasty? Sweet bun, kimchi, a little bit of raw onion, it, it's porky. It's got all of the flavours you want of that dish. The structural integrity and the architecture to your sausage wrapping isn't great. I don't understand why you've got kind of halves and cheese and other halves. The proteins haven't stuck together like they would with meat glue. They've just kind of gone Bleh. How's it gone, Evers? Ever just... It's just kind of gone Bleh. A bit more. Has... Like oh, that. I like it. Has it done that? Honestly, this, this end of this sausage is... Move on. Hot dog number two. This is... <laughs> a hot dog inside of a roll with condiments. A California hot dog roll. Can't fault that. I mean, sushi rolls. That makes perfect sense. That's the approach you've gone for. However... <laughs> Prawn crackers on top for a bit of crunch, a little bit of scotch bonnet to add the spice, and then some blueberries for a freshness, which I felt it needed. That's not terrible. <laughs> Wait, no! I'm taking it! I, he, he didn't spit it out. He didn't spit it out. I'm trying to work out why that's so tasty. When you make sushi rice, there should be a slight element of pickling, but also a sweetness to it, a natural sweetness from the rice, but off the mirin as well. You've got that kind of sweetness coming from bread. Completely different staple, but it's doing a similar job. In the middle, the cream cheese, crab, avocado, it's very Californian in its style. Smoked salmon is a bit odd, but hey, it's here. And I've seen spam on sushi before as well, and I don't think the frankfurter is that far from it. I'm going back for a second one. Wow. Evers, wow. don't get full up. Come on, you've got one to go. It's yeah. definitely creative because there's no way to thought of that. And it tastes great. Great. How the I don't know. That is mad. Great. Well. That is mad. Well. <laughs> you, let's rethink the bar. What the f <laughs> <laughs> Who's that, Evers? Is that supposed to be me? <laughs> 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 I mean. It's not often I'm lost for words. <laughs> Ebers, this is a e-dog, as I'd like to call it. So you have a frankfurter wrapped in uh, seasoned sushi rice, pickled ginger, a homemade tonkotsu style sauce, <laughs> a wasabi mustard, and I think that's it. Do you like your hair? I think it's pretty accurate. <laughs> uh, it's a hot dog. It's a hot dog. It's creative. <laughs> Whether it tastes nice, we'll come to that in a moment. Are you going to eat your own head? Yeah, you might need to eat down to actually get the full flavour. I think you've got a third of the actual flavour in the whole thing. Ah! Ah! My lips! So that my first mouth will actually taste of all the lovely things you've got in there. Something quite unnerving about watching mm -hmm. that. Ever's eating himself. Yeah. Oh. You've gone heavy with wasabi. Yeah, I thought I went heavy with, damn it. I tried to take the edge off the miso mustard so that it wouldn't be too... <laughs> oh, there's also mustard in there as well. <laughs> yeah, but... Oh, so mustard and wasabi. It's got, a little, it's got mustard, but with miso and mirin in, so it's less... <gasps> oh, 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 no, my hands! <laughs> my glasses! I'm not sure the ratio of little ebbers in big bun kind of worked <laughs> because I have got a whole end here which is just bready. I don't like that description. Yeah. I love that description. No, yeah. little ebbers in big bun. <laughs> Someone give that. <laughs> because I quite like these two thirds, but I'm going to be left with a lot of bun up this end. And I'm not oh, sure no. it's an eating experience. It's great, but it's classic. It's got the pickled ginger. It's got the wasabi. It's got the sushi rice. It's got a frankfurter in the middle, and it's in a roll, so it makes it a hot dog. It made me smile. <laughs> yes. I mean, yeah, your bum was a bit dry. I like the effort of the um, homemade sauce. The crispy garlic is a nice punchy flavour, as well as the mustard, as well as the wasabi, as well as the pickle ginger. It certainly slaps you around the face. Yeah, the only thing is it's slightly out of balance. But then some of the best of us are. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have a favourite? <laughs> I can't believe I'm taking this so seriously. I think, whilst they're all hot dogs, 
and they're all pretty creative and they've all got little twists and they all taste fine. I think Jamie takes third place today. Yes! Which is a shame because I kind of like those noodly bits, but... <laughs> this is such a good day for me. But do I have a winner? Yes. And I think the hot dog roll that wins is the Californian roll influence. I was expecting that. Well done. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but it's kind of fun. Uh, if you've been inspired by our hot dogs, uh, then head over to Psychic. It's free for 30 days and you can cook up some absolute bangers in our hot rolls pack. Well, not these. Tried and tested ones. But if you thought this was a lot of fun, don't forget to give the video a like.